Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman back for a quick 270 video. I wanted to show you guys the last couple rounds of the World Cup match between Jeff Ray and Guillermo Javilla, streamed by Jason Casey. Enjoy! Jeff had a prayer there, forcing a ballot. Almost worked. But Guillermo saw it coming, and now that it did, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a gentleman's forfeit here. No, Jeff's going to stick it out since we're so close already. Looks like he's going two pegs into all the non-contested states. He also moved up in a Florida defense, which was a prayer for a block, I believe. Um, he might also be trying to earn... Did he move up in California? I don't think so. No, he couldn't have. He didn't have enough money. Are we going to have a ballot? Yeah, that's enough for the ballot right there. We do have a ballot coming. And all the town and gown states. I can't, I didn't pay much attention to what other states she got in. You know, she might not be in enough states to make this a sure thing. Oh no, never mind. She got into a lot of states. Uh, she got into pretty much everything, save for Hawaii and Ohio. She's got to these, but we got a lot of money to do it. Um, you can pretty much assume that she's going to take out. Um, got a lot of time to get in the high tech. Could also see a possible California seal, although that would be costly. She spent 600 in California, then that is enough to ensure that she'd get it, but it would still be 24 EVs shy. You know, this isn't really a sure thing right now. This isn't a sure thing. Jeff still has a chance. If he can pick two or three states and defend them perfectly, Oh, so I, sorry. I just saw the I just saw the comments. Jamie asked, "What is the name of the song in the background?" It gives me Bob Marley vibes. Um, if you're talking about this song that's playing right now, then here you are. Um, if if that comment is old, then um, I don't know what to tell you. Um, let me know if that's the song that you're asking about. If it's not, then after the game, I'll go to my Spotify uh, radio station and we'll I'll let you screenshot it or something like that. How about that? Interesting. Jeff, even though he didn't complete the ballot on the turn that he wanted it, he was still smart to f push for a ballot early because it gives less time for Michelle's bonuses, for Guillermo's bonuses to compile and save up and help her to win additional bonuses. And, you know, it can, everybody knows, it can snowball. Snowball, and it can, this can turn into a really ugly game if it goes on much longer. So, almost ending the game in turn 12, and and then um, after turn 13, really good move by Jeff. Uh, still, it's not likely he's got a lot of states here that he's got to defend that he's only one pip ahead in. Um, I think that what Guillermo's going to do is pick a couple of states that he's going to try to over pips because he might be expecting Jeff is going to one pip defend everything. Has to 902,000 isn't really going to get him that far because um, he's got a lot of making up to do and some of that money's not really that useful. You know it's high tech money. He's got a lot of high tech money. I think maybe 200,000 or so in high tech money. That would get him Pennsylvania or Connecticut and New Hampshire. But that's about it for high tech. And he's got 700000 left. His AA money he'll use in trying to steal 
Georgia and Alabama, but he also might have to spend that in defense. Because remember, Jeff is in, oh, well, only South Carolina and Arkansas. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I hope these guys got their turn in. So Troy says he likes Jeff's position, actually. Jeff's actually just joined the stream. He's watching with us. So let's find out together, Jeff. So Alabama is stolen. That's no surprise. Let's see what happens in these other states. Okay. Let's go. All right, Connecticut flips. That's no surprise either. Pennsylvania will stay with Jeff. Uh, I guess strong in the Idaho defense. Guess strong in the Indiana defense. Oh, guess strong in Iowa. But he does guess right in Kansas. Okay. Kentucky flips. That brings us to 231. Maine flips. 234. 235. Minnesota's 245. Oh, it's not looking good. 255. There's still a lot of opportunities across the board. Uh, Jeff guessed just wrong in a couple of states. Oh. 260. Oh, 264. Yep, yeah, he's going to have enough. He's going to have enough. 268 now. Over oh, Vermont. Oh, we're at, we're at the end of the alphabet. 268 to 270. Oh, Wyoming is protected. What about West Virginia? Oh, that's it. That's it. He's done it. Jeff did it. No way. Oh, I've got to be a little more. Roommates are still asleep, but I cannot believe this result that we've just seen. Guillermo just didn't attack enough states. He didn't attack enough states. Oh my god. He used his high tech money in New Hampshire and Connecticut, but not in Pennsylvania. Um, Didn't go for West Virginia. Oh, I got to see the final map. Oh, he just didn't attack enough states. He got to 268 with like Maine. He had the whole ha second half of the alphabet there. That I, I assumed he was going to find something there. But there was just... This is... Oh, this is the most incredible, incredibly surprising result I've ever streamed. I cannot believe that we have a 270 to 268 result right now. I need to rewatch this and figure out exactly what happened in some of these states, but I know that Kansas was a one pip block. I think Oregon was a one pip block. I think Wyoming was as well, and I think Vermont was too. And uh, we also saw Guillermo have a little bit of wasteful spending because he spent Georgia and Alabama, and he defended South Carolina, so that was more than his AA and Old South money. He also, uh, since he spent all of his Old South money there, he lost Arkansas, so it makes the difference. Um, wow. I said going into the ballot that this wasn't a sure thing, but I still felt like it was pretty much a sure thing. I would have said 90 seven percent chance at least that Guillermo would have still found a way to to win this but you know, Pennsylvania's worth 20 and instead he's with his high-tech money um, he overspent on a couple of steals and then on a couple more steals he got blocked on one pip steals he got blocked in just enough of them to where he isn't up with only two. one more state would have put him over the top I can't believe this result. Congratulations to Jeff. Um, Jeff's going to be moving on to face Troy Moore now. And that is another match that I definitely want to watch. Possibly stream as well. I cannot believe this result. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching with me. Um, can't wait to see the fire group chats going down after this match. Signing off, guys.